replace the relay. And I want to test this relay now to see if it's faulty. And uh, you know where to test for it. You have to look for the, the coil. If you look at the information here, you see which one is the coil, the coil, which one is the coil. It says here is that the 13 and 14. But here I have three multimeters. I want to, some of them are not working on low resistance. You know why, why it does not work? Because they are damaged. And you know what damages, uh, damages, uh, um, what damages this multimeter? If you measure them, if you measure resistance while there's voltage, if the, if the panel, if the electrical, if, the, if the, your circuit is live, you should never measure resistance on a live circuit. When, it's, when the circuit is live, you can only measure current. Measure current and voltage when it's live. But never measure resistance. If you measure resistance, it will damage your multimeter. Proof of that is that these two are damaged. I'm going to measure resistance with these two so that you see why it is not going to... So first of all, you have to make sure that the resist... Uh, I'm going to measure resistance with this, with this. See why it's not running. So first of all, uh, it's on, you have to make, make sure it's in resistance. It's in ohm meter. And then you have to make sure that the range is good. It's now in mega ohm. You don't want it to be in mega ohm. Because the resistance is low, so it has to be in, all, in ohms. So if you push range, it's in, oh, it's, it's in mega ohm still. Push range again, it goes into ohm. Now you can measure. Now we measure the coil. Measure the coil of this, of this, uh, so we want to measure the coil. So the coil is uh, 13 and 14. So we put it here, we put it on the coil. There's no reaction. If you measure it like this, it reacts a bit. But if you put it here, it does not react. It's because this is damaged, this ohmmeter, this Multimeter is damaged. The old meter is not working as it should. If you bring this one as well, if you try to measure the old meter here, measure the resistance here. We put it on, uh, we set it on 20 ohms. 20 ohms, that's the lowest. It has, it has uh, 200 ohms and uh, so it's reading one ohm now. If we put it together, yeah, it has some readings though. This one has some readings when you put it together. But let's measure the resistance of this um, of the coil of this relay. So we put it on the on, on 13 and 14, which is A1 and A2. And there's no reading. We do not see any reading here. There's no reading here. This one is also the ohm meter is damaged as well. But if we put this one, we put it on ohm meter. And then we put it on the same uh, on the same uh, 13 and 14. Yeah, we see there's a reading. It's reading 633 ohms. So this is because this is still good. I've been very cautious. This is my personal multimeter, and I've not used it to measure voltage. I've not used it to measure current uh, um, resistance in a live panel. But everybody uses this, and they use it to measure voltage in a live panel, and that's why it's not working again. You cannot measure low resistance. So this is one thing you have to be careful with. Don't ever, in a live panel, you can only measure voltage. DC voltage or AC voltage, and you can measure current, but never measure resistance in a live panel. Otherwise, it will damage your multimeter. So, so 